this is the beautiful thing is that once we understand these particular principles we understand that actually God is not responsible for how this child was treated now God is very compassionate to these children in fact any child who passes into the spirit world who has been damaged by the result of parents actions whether it doesn't matter how violent they personally have become themselves if they're still a child they are treated in summer land in generally isolation until they can be placed with other children by a group of people who assist them to work through the emotions that have caused them to have so much pain so they're actually given a lot more love than any person on earth would be able to give them and or unfortunately because the reality is all of us could potentially give that kind of love here on earth but but they're given a lot of love and a lot of help to get beyond the emotions far more help than adult who has harmed other people would be given in fact and the reason why is because the child has not been responsible for the creation of this pain that's now in them somebody else has however the child does have to go through the process of experiencing it and there's one really good reason for that and that is that each of us cannot feel the feelings of another so once a feeling has entered us nobody else can release it for us that's the unfortunate thing of this damage this is why God has attributed so much responsibility to the persons who teach because the response the problem is once the damage is done inside of the individual the only way for this damage to be released is by going through the emotional experience now that is a painful process but only the individual can do it with God's help with God's love they can do it very much more rapidly but only the individual can allow that process so I have to feel my own emotions this is one reason why God put so much responsibility on the people who created my emotions because in the end I'm going to have to feel the results of my own emotions at some point that somebody else has created and the reason why that has been is because that way each of us learn that we are completely able to have a certain emotional condition independent of another person so in other words Michael can be as bad as he wants to be towards me and I can feel nothing as a result of it and I can actually get to a point where I can just feel love as a result of it if Michael was able to transmit all of his evil emotions sorry about that Michael <laughs> it's not that bad all of his evil emotions at me and I had to feel them then that would mean that I would now no longer be an individual who is able to have its own emotions but rather I would have to absorb the emotions from Michael of his own behavior that would be terrible because that means that I'd be completely at the whim of every single person around me as to what I experience so the reason why God has created us this way is so that we can be an individual emotionally does that make sense we can go through our own individual emotional experience with independent of anyone else in the universe and God created that potential so that you could be the only person in the celestial heaven on earth if you wanted to be does that make sense you could be the only person who who is happy and has no cares no worries no completely self-responsible for every decision and completely loving in every decision and you can be like that even though the rest of the world could be terrible right but the downside of that of course of that creation is that when a child is just imposed upon emotionally by its parents and other belief systems then the child has some pain to experience that it has to choose to experience for itself if it's ever going to be clear of it that's the downside of it but there's a lot of upsides to it as well and that is that the child can go through all of those things and the adult can go through all of those things and be a complete individual independent of what everybody else goes through and that's a very positive part of that particular principle so everything that God does is like this there's all these gifts that God gives us and if we work out of harmony with love there's all these negative consequences if we work in harmony with love there's all these beautiful positive consequences and the consequences tell us 
whether we're in or out of harmony with love. It's the consequences that tell us that. <laughs>